Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Psycho Gold and this is Psycho Gold Videos. No, your eyes do not deceive you. You have read the title of this video correctly. I have decided that The Promised Neverland is going to be on the channel. And, um... I apologize if this video does not make a lot of sense. But I have just spent 40 minutes making a YouTube video that I now can't upload because the file is corrupted. Something went wrong with OBS when I was recording and I had to force the program shut even though I had finished my video and I was like... And this video was very emotionally powerful for myself because it uh, was basically a video that I have been trying to make for the last week. So the fact that it has now gone into the abyss is left me in a bit of a predicament. I could try and replicate what I've just said, but it would have nowhere near the same levels of intensity or power, or I can just not bother and try and summarize, but I don't think that the summary is going to be anywhere near as good as the video I just lost. So I'm going to try and do something in between the two. So first things first, The Promised Neverland. I did a poll on Patreon and I'm really trying to not abbreviate everything I've just said to try and rush this video. So, so I asked the question on Patreon whether or not people would mind if I do what I actually want to do in regards to the Promised Neverland reaction and happily the answer was no, they didn't. So just for The Promised Neverland, I'm doing uncut reactions here on YouTube. They are the exact same video files that I put on Patreon. Now with that said, if you're on Patreon, uh, you're still going to see them before they're here on YouTube just because of the nature of uploading. Now, the other thing I must say to that is it is only going to be for The Promised Neverland. Shield Hero will unfortunately also be a redirect, but it will be a cut version of the file because Katakawa has not given me any strikes. However, Sony Music Entertainment Japan has chosen to strike everybody and that kind of irritates me and annoys me to the point that I kind of want to go to war. And the best way I can think of to do that is to do exactly what I'm going to do, which is to give you all uncut videos. So I do my best to try and adhere to fair use. In fact, I say I do my best. I do adhere to fair use. I do everything I'm supposed to, man, as do all of the good reaction channels to the ire of some of the people in the comments. I'm aware that people don't like the fact that the volume is lowered. I'm aware that people don't like the fact that the anime is normally cut. And yes, I'm aware that you don't like the fact that I talk a lot. Unfortunately, that is what you have to do to make a reaction video on YouTube. With that said, I'm not interested in appeasing Sony Music Entertainment Japan. I'm using much less harsh language than I did in my first attempt at this video. So I think it's safe to say I've got some of my the annoyance out of my system. But let's just say you did miss a colorful video and it is a shame because I had intended to upload it completely unfiltered. Either way, that is what I am doing with The Promised Neverland. I hope you enjoyed them. They are all currently in the description below and I'm hoping that this video doesn't get taken down for some other ridiculous reason, but DB Geek has done the same thing and I'll commend you for that, my dude. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to follow you into the Valley of the Shadow of Death and we shall both go down in fiery flames together. Hopefully not, but if we do, we will. So, whatever. Anyway, with that said, I then went on a bit of a rant in my uh, now unusable video about the copyright system on YouTube. Now, admittedly, that rant was a little bit too long. I kind of don't want to try and repeat myself, so I'm going to have to try and summarize it. Basically, it's a broken system that everybody kind of knows, but I, 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 you. A few moments later. I can't. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Now, I've tried my best to try and summarize everything that I said, but I really can't. Every time I try, I just can't. My, 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 my fire for that topic all came out and I'm so irritated at OBS right now. Um, I can't recreate it and I'm not going to try because I'm not going to fake it. I'm not going to summarize it because it's just not. It's not the same. Uh, so I'm going to skip that. 
and I'm going to take that instead as a much needed vent, um, but keep it to myself. So yeah, that is going to make this video way shorter than it was originally. However, instead, I am going to try and replicate what ended up happening during that rant, because that was not part of my plan. See, what happened is, as I was ranting slash giving examples slash talking about other things that are happening on YouTube that do affect all of us who make YouTube videos, something unexpected kind of happened as I was doing this, which was I had a realization that in spite of YouTube's best effort, my channel is still growing. In spite of everything that doesn't currently work on YouTube. Notifications don't go out. Nothing gets recommended anymore. Nothing gets highlighted. Nothing that YouTube does right now helps me. Yet somehow, you guys are still finding my videos and are still watching them. The numbers are not as good as they used to be, but you guys are still joining this channel. I am still gaining subscribers. I am still getting views. They may not be the big numbers that they used to be when I first started this channel, which is a bit weird, but that is still amazing. You guys are amazing. And that's what kind of happened is my rant turned into gratitude. Every single person who's ever watched my videos, who's subscribed to the channel, I love each and every single one of you Without you guys, I wouldn't have the same fiery passion. That, unfortunately, you will, won't see, but it's there. And I'm sure another thing will happen that will make it come back out. But everything that has happened on this channel has happened because of you guys. I started this channel because I wanted to make gaming videos. But that kind of fell apart and wasn't really working. Not just the videos themselves, but I wasn't really enjoying it the way that I thought I would. And then I started to do anime videos, or specifically reactions, and I enjoyed it way more than I thought I would. And the weird thing was, is so did you guys. One Punch Man was a great series to start me off on, and then you guys recommended Overlord, and that was amazing as well. And then I watched several other things, and they were great. Then I hit copyright issues, and that wasn't so great. I have dueled with Sony Entertainment Music Japan before, and I lost. They took my channel down for four and a half months, which is not possible if you believe YouTube's terms, conditions, rules, laws, whatever you want to call them. But it happened. And that was because YouTube was having a period where it didn't know how to proceed with life. All applications to the YouTube Partnership Program were on hold. All disputes seemed to be going nowhere, and I had to send a manual email to the copyright email address that YouTube has hidden away in the dark corners of their FAQ pages, and I sent them a friggin' essay man, and they forwarded it on to Sony. I never had a reply, never got a response, but my channel didn't come back. I then had to chase three times to try and work out what the hell was going on and eventually the channel came back. I couldn't log into it because it said it was disabled, but it did suddenly reappear on the internet with no notification to me. Other people told me it had just randomly appeared one day. Then after a week, I was able to log in again, still no notification, but it just magically came back. The copyright strikes had all been removed from the channel and life was good. So I came back, and you guys came back too, despite the fact that this channel was dead in terms of its momentum. It was a damn struggle to get word out there that I was making videos again, but there were so many of you who jumped right back on the bandwagon with me, and that was great. There are so many of you now finding me, and you all seem to be enjoying the videos, you all seem to be making the connection with me that I hoped you would, and some of you, which is what happened last night, jumped from the YouTube family to the Twitch follow family, and Frozen Phoenix, thank you very much for being the first person in last night's stream to come from the YouTube. You weren't the last, 
but you did send me a donation. You did not only drop a follow, but you also subscribed to the channel, which was way more than I was expecting. And it's way more than I expect of anybody who comes and checks out my content. So thank you very much, dude. I said that I would shout out your name in my next video. So that is that promise fulfilled. But I would have done that anyway, because it was great to have you in the stream. It was a good laugh talking to you about anime whilst we was playing golf with your friends, which in and of itself was hilarious and everybody seemed to enjoy. I plan in the future to have more gaming stuff on the channel. I also plan to do the occasional film review. And no, I haven't forgotten that I said I would do a certain series of light novel reviews. I apologize that they have basically been abandoned. That was not my intention. I did actually film one but it is so old, I am going to have to refilm it so that I can then cover the next one more effectively. I want to talk about all things geeky that I enjoy. I recently read a Star Wars book and it was absolutely incredible and I was so hooked that I couldn't put it down. I finished it, I've got the next one because that's how much I enjoyed it. I'm going to talk about that book in its own video and go into it, but the point is, I enjoy talking about all things I like anime. I like gaming. I like films. I like reading books too, whether they be proper novels, graphic novels, or comics. I have so many plans and ideas for series that have absolutely nothing to do with anime, but I haven't yet managed to find the time or the ability to plan. But what I am going to be doing over the next few days is creating a plan which is going to translate into a schedule because there are anime that have been forgotten through time, such as SSS Gridman, My Hero Academia, and although this one hasn't been forgotten, most of you guys would like to know when the next Hunter x Hunter episode is coming. I plan to work all this stuff out. I'm going to make a schedule, I'm going to make a plan, I'm going to make uh, an upload plan for myself, which will be slightly different to the schedule. But basically, Hunter x Hunter is coming, but it is not currently my priority, which is why it has been a very slow upload. If you're on my Patreon, then you know that I got up to episode 11 and then stopped because everything kind of fell behind due to the currently airing anime. This was never my intention. I plan to rectify that. I can't cope with the anime that air on a Monday night because Monday night is also a night that I stream currently Borderlands the pre-sequel, but that might change in the future. However, it is a night that is normally done with multiplayer, which is why I can't shift it because it is my multiplayer night with fellow streamers and I can't just change that because they also have their own schedules and Monday night is the night we have been streaming for a very long time. So this week, I actually ended up through no real plan having to upload all of Monday night's anime on Tuesday. And to be honest, it hasn't really affected their views. If anything, it's actually made Mob Psycho has had more views than the previous Mob Psycho. So I might have to just move all of Monday's anime to Tuesday. But we'll see. Right now, that's where I'm thinking that that might have to be the case. But I, like I said, I don't know. Dororo is early enough in the day that I could film that Monday and get it on Patreon, but I don't always have the time to edit it and get it to YouTube. However, I might be able to do that if I know that I don't have to worry about Slime and Mob until Tuesday morning. So that might be the way I go. Dororo might be Monday, but Slime and Mob might be Tuesday. Like I said, I'm going to be working all that stuff out. But what I really want you guys to know is I appreciate each and every single one of you. I am so happy right now that you guys are here choosing to support the channel. And I want you to know that we are not going to stop. I am not going to stop. What is going to happen over the next year, nobody can tell. But I have every intention of still being here at the end of it. And I'm hoping that the channel will be bigger. That would, that would be really nice. But I don't know, at the end of the day. Everybody gets periods of stagnation and everybody gets periods where nothing really happens, but I'm hoping that we are starting to pick up a momentum again. 
I am going to be uploading a lot of anime, I am going to be uploading a few videos that are not anime, and I'm also going to be streaming some games on YouTube. Starting with Resident Evil 2, I'm going to be streaming it on Twitch and YouTube simultaneously so that it doesn't matter where you like to watch my content, you'll be able to. I won't do that for every game that I stream. Some games I don't think fit the, the YouTube channel, and some games I think are actually better to be turned into YouTube videos, like just the compilations of the best bits. Golf with your friends is a prime example. As hilarious as it was, and maybe you guys would have enjoyed seeing that as well, I would actually quite like to try and turn that into a short video where you can just see us breaking with laughter at some of the banter that came out of that stream because the game itself is ultimately just golf. <laughs> but the people that you play it with make all the difference, and we had actually quite a few different people join as the night went on. It turned into a really fun night. As I said, I also plan to do some reviews of things that are in the geek hemisphere, but aren't necessarily anime related. But I also plan to do uh, anime film reviews as well. And if you're on Patreon, you will probably get a reaction to those films. But as I said, there's no way they'll ever come to YouTube because they are way too damn long. But I would like to do a proper review for them and put them on the channel. And then the reaction is kind of like a bonus, if you know what I mean. So that's kind of how I'm choosing to approach 2019. The other thing that's going to be happening in regards to anime is there are going to be periods where daily uploads will happen of a singular anime. They will not conflict with any of the airing anime schedules, but they will suddenly appear, as in Gaku Garashi, for example, aka School Live, you might suddenly notice that you get notified that episode 1 has been uploaded to the channel. When you get that notification, or when you see that episode 1 exists on the channel, every single day from that point forward, another Gaku Garashi episode will also join the YouTube channel, and it will not stop until the final episode, in that case there are 12 episodes, is on the channel. I think that if you enjoy Gaku Garashi and if you enjoy my content, you're going to really enjoy those episodes, and I personally love that show. I haven't finished it yet on Patreon, but once I have finished it on Patreon, I'm going to be editing all 12 episodes, pretty much one after the other, and I'm going to be uploading all 12 episodes one after the other to YouTube, because I don't know what the copyright system is like for Gaku Garashi on YouTube, and I'm going to be so annoyed if it's one that people struggle with, because I think it's such a good show, man. And you guys are going to love my reaction to the first episode especially, because I had no idea what I was watching. I watched it because it was a request from a high-level patron, and I went into it 100% blind, just like I did The Promised Neverland, which is why I compared Promised Neverland to Gaku Garashi in my first viewing of it, because I had the exact same reaction to what happens in GG as I did in Neverland. Now, this video is long, and I apologize for that, and I hope that you have gone away and enjoyed the Promised Neverland reactions, or you're going to do that, but you just wanted to know where exactly I'm going with all of this ranting. So, that's the second attempt at this video. It ended up still being fairly lengthy, but probably with editing it won't be as long as I think it is, but we'll have to see. Anyway, with that said, I want my message to be that I am still here, I'm not going anywhere, and I'm going to do my best to make some really great videos for in 2019, and I hope that you guys are still going to be here as well. I love the fact that despite YouTube's best efforts, we're still growing, and we're still getting stronger. I'm going to still be here. The question is, are you? I hope the answer is yes. <laughs> Either way, guys. If you enjoyed the Promised Neverland reactions uh, that are linked, please like this video. If you enjoyed what I had to say about YouTube, please also like this video. Either way, I just kind of want the likes. And regardless of that fact, please comment below what you thought about my uh, impressions slash reactions were to the Promised Neverland, because obviously this is the video that I'm going to be checking for those comments. If you have anything else to say, feel free to comment that as well. I will definitely be reading all of the stuff that gets put on this video. If this is your first time on my channel, 
I apologize that this video has mostly been just talking about stuff that has nothing to do with Promised Neverland, but that is because the redirects have all of my thoughts for the, each individual episode in them. Going forward, when I do a Promised Neverland video, I will obviously keep the talking to just the Promised Neverland, unless, of course, we get any more issues. But I'm hoping not. Either way, guys, I'm going to end this one here because I don't want this to be an incredibly long video. But I might have already failed. Either way, dudes, that's going to be it from me. As always, my name is, of course, Psycho Gold, and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Either way, this is Psycho Gold signing out.